Hey, it's Doug and Rev Show, 103.7 KRZR, the Rev Hanging with Orly, and Doug is not here today, but that's all right. Sarah is. Sarah from Modesto, our MySpace Hi Today. Blonde girl, very blue eyes, hottie, and you tell me you work at a tattoo place? Yes. Yeah, all the way in Tracy. Oh, and Tracy, I was going to yeah. say, which one in Modesto? Because what was, End of the Trail tattoo, and then what was the other one? I can't remember the other one. I remember when they got the first piercing thing in there. I, I got this done, but it was from a guy like from Sonora had to come down and do the eyebrow. We did it live on air. I've heard End of the Trail is really expensive. Is it really? Yeah, I've heard that from so many people. My, but most people, that's where they would go back in the day, but now there's so many different tattoo places. So are you all pierced up and stuff? No, I just had that my nose and my belly button. Nose and your belly button. Nowhere else? No. No. Are you, <laughs> no. you going to do the tug? No. No? Nothing else? Like, no, nothing that bugs me when I'm eating because I love food. Because you love food? <laughs> yeah. See, it's so good. See, that's what chicks hate girls like her because, like, you get to eat a lot. You, get, they can, like, you don't gain any weight. You get to stay hot. Yeah. And it's just like, ah, oh, they just hate you for that. There's so many women out now going, shut up. I wish I could eat wherever I Remember want. Remember, we had, was it Tatiana? She's like, I just have to work out for the first time coming up again. And I'm like, yeah. what are you talking about? Yeah, she, oh my God, she was hot. Yeah, that's uh, the hustler girl. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Are you doing anything like that? Any publications? You're not in any of those nerdy magazines, are you? <laughs> no, I'm not in any no? magazines, actually. Would you like to be? Uh, it would be nice. I wouldn't mind it. Yeah, see? What would your mom say, though? Well, wouldn't you freak out? Because she didn't, you were telling me off air that she doesn't want you getting pierced anymore. We go, look. Yeah, she, yeah. I'm not going to get pierced anymore. She hates tattoos and piercings. And that's she what you so do. so ugly, you stupid booger catcher. Well, <laughs> that's what I was going to say, though, on the nose. I could never do the nose because I'd feel like I have a crusty in there all day and I'd always be, like, self-conscious. Or I'd be trying to dig it out constantly. Is it yeah. like, does it feel like you have a big bogey in the nose? No, it actually doesn't. It doesn't at all. Yeah, it just depends on the size of the bar. Yeah, because I had a really big one in, like, when they pierced it and it felt really weird, but then I put a small one in and it was totally fine. See, I couldn't do that. Just anything in my nose, I'd just be like this all day. What about the thing right here? What is that called? The whole... The, That's the, like the cow thing. Yeah, dude. Like yeah, my buddy said, I love a lot of friends who have that. And I don't get that when I just look at it and go, does your wife pull you around by that thing? You know, what's what's the point of the big bull ring thing through the nose? I don't I don't understand that one at all. And it, I don't, you know, I mean, honestly, I think a lot of my friends are tattooed. Most of my friends are all tattooed. I'm all yeah, pierced. a lot of people are getting tattoos nowadays. It's like the weirdest yeah. dudes that I wouldn't even think about it. And they're, then they're putting in, like, giant plugs in their ear. So when they take it out, it's, it's going to look like some African tribe. Like, but you have you, to get it cut or something? I heard you have to get it cut before it heals back up after you pull it You have to, like, do, like, sew it together yeah, or something, something like, like that. that. That's going to look attractive. Yeah. You know what? Why don't you just get a parakeet and just stick it in the hole there and let it swing back and forth <laughs> on your ear? So cute. And it's like, hey, that's where I keep my bird. What up? Just keep a little finch in your ear. Because when you're 80, that's going to look, you're going to have big, long old man balls and ears to match. <laughs> that's what's going to happen, dude. Giant, droopy. But maybe you can sew those together. Just take part of your big balls and, you know, put make another ear for ear, you. Yeah. yeah, or just take it, you know, parts of it off, cut it off, and fix your ear with it. Yeah, have you seen those people like in Africa or somewhere like that? The where play they lip? stretch their yeah, their lip. Yeah, that's what it's gonna look like. How do they eat like that? I have no idea. It's like I, I, I tried it one time. I hold my lip out and I tried to eat and it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Well, don't no joke. It's like, do they? I don't even think they have blenders out there on the on, on in, in the bush. How do they? I mean, do you chop up your food real fine? And I mean, how do you do that? I don't know. Cause how would you? Yeah, try right. doing that. Try eating like that. That's no fun. I don't know what the point of that is. It would, like, fall out. And how do you do oral sex? Because that would, like, hurt. Be like, whack, whack, whack. Be like having oral sex with a duck or something. With that big <laughs> plate lip. Just try that. Try that. Or Orly, would you be able to give oral sex like that? Um, no. Would your boyfriend, he would just get mad. Probably. Probably. Explained. Somebody's going to be listening until he's the I know. That's, they're gonna, he's going to have, like... I was just going to ask him. No. No, he's not. I just... But it's funny. Every now and then we make jokes, and then he had six guys hit him up on MySpace. Hey, how about making a new kind of MySpace audio? They always have a rainbow background for some reason. I don't know why. You have a rainbow background? No, they do. Oh, oh yeah. Me. I thought you did. No. What do you get, skulls? I don't know what I have. You're I have like, the same ones since I've had the page. Yeah, brown. Just yeah, plain so. brown. Speaking of gay guys, I just went to a costume party. Uh huh. And there's this one guy, like, showed up, like, in, like, you know, the volleyball shorts. <laughs> that was all he was wearing. Just just the quick, the small yeah. little. Yeah. Uh, he was gay, of course. I was like, what are you? And he's like, I'm a cop. Yeah, I'm a gay. Okay. That, well, it's hard to tell with the mustache. Did he have the the, the cop mustache? No. Because it's also the gay mustache. Because my friend was getting, he's a cop, and he's getting a look, and I'm like, dude, honestly, like now in the uniform, you're a cop. 
take it off, put on a biker hat, and you're like totally gay. You know what I mean? The same mustache. The 80s mustache. Yeah, it's that it's that weird gay. Like Uncle Rico on the point dynamite. Mustache. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Look like Uncle Rico. Yes. You look like uh, Dangle on the the nine. Uh, you know what I want? You just you oh, yeah. get the. It's the gay mustache. The, the gay ones you hardly see any like any time, you know, around or whatever. Like the ones that curl. Yeah, the, those the, ones are really weird. <laughs> my uncle did that. He had the wax, and they, they did. They the just thing. made fun of a uh, Goldman on Family Guy last night. Ron Goldman's dad. Oh yeah. He's trying to go through the door, and he like hits the sides. Oh yeah, the guy who's OJ OJ yeah. killed. Yeah, his dad's got one of those, like just giant. Long. And they put like that wax on it. Yeah, like, it's, or they'll use their earwax. Did I see the guy when I used to earwax? Long, like, yeah. No. The, uh, seriously, I that saw the guy used to go like that, and he would like twist it like that. He would dig. Well, you were working at Walmart. Yeah. So I mean. There you go. Straight <laughs> redneck cowboy guy why, chewing tobacco and just twisting. Why it. would you spend any money on wax when you grow your own? It's gross, huh? Exactly. That is, save money. The grossest the, people ever. I, I had a, nowadays when you save a buck. I had a guy one time. Yeah, exactly. I had a guy digging his ear with a key one time, and they wanted me to make a copy of it. Oh, there you go. This one. I was like, no, we're out of that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, okay. Dude, that, that it's ain't. It's gross. Like, people, they're gross. Dude, that is so vile. What's the weirdest tattoo you've seen in there? Like... People will get weird stuff. You know, it's a drunken duck. A drunken duck. Yeah. Like it's the drunk duck. I want a drunk. Where they put it's it? It's like a weird looking duck, like with its wings out or whatever, holding a bottle of beer. And they said I that's know. what I want on my body forever. Yeah. I got one for you. Hang on one second. We'll be right back. Um, it's kind of in a weird spot too, and we'll talk about that in a second. Like what? Like some people get the weird stuff in like weird places. Like you really want that next to that? Okay. It's uh, Doug and Rev on KRCR. I saw one that was so 